I think almost every automaker has, has some electric vehicle program. The goal is to exit the era as quickly as possible. That means we need to move from, from the old goal with the pre-industrial goal, goal, which was to move from chopping down forests and killing lots of whales. But the old goal was to move from chopping wood and killing whales to fossil fuels, which actually in that context was a good thing. But the new goal is to move to a sustainable energy future. On your journey of success, you're going to have to make sure that you are doing what you want to do and you're going out there and striving to be the best that you can be. Because it's not about what other people are doing, but it's all about what you are doing and how you're going about it and what you do in order to become the most successful individual that you possibly can. So many people claim they want to be successful, yet they do nothing about it. So many of them just say they wish they could be successful and they put no action towards it. They never genuinely try. And a great example of that is people who say they don't have enough time in their day, which those people are completely and utterly wrong. So many successful individuals have 24 hours in every single day, but it's all about how you utilize those 24 hours and what you do in that time span that is what truly matters. So if you need more time in your day, make more time. Wake up earlier or go to bed later. If you wake up earlier, so many people aren't going to be up. There's going to be zero distractions on the internet, on social media. Nobody's going to be emailing you or needing your attention. So if you wake up early, you're going to have tons and tons of free time, just uninterrupted time to work on your goals, your dreams, and your aspirations. And the same goes for if you're staying up super late because nobody wants to stay up incredibly late. If you stay up really late and just put in that time, that effort, and that energy, it's going to pay off in the end because you're going to have so much time of uninterrupted work, it's going to be extremely beneficial to you and your craft and your journey of success. So always make time for what's genuinely important to you. Today, with a $100 device, you can video conference with anyone in the world, uh, on the other side of the world. For, and if you have a Wi-Fi connection, uh, you, you know, just, you, for, it's basically free. Free to have an instant visual communication with anyone, or even with millions of people. You know, with social media, you can communicate to millions of people simultaneously. I think the, a future where we are a space-faring civilization and out there among the stars, this is very exciting. This makes me look forward to the future. This makes me want that future. You know, the things, they need to be things that make you look forward to waking up in the morning. You wake up in the morning, you look forward to the day, forward to the future. In a future where we are a space-faring civilization and out there among the stars, I think that's very exciting. I mean, I hope we are out there on Mars and maybe beyond Mars, the moons of Jupiter. I hope we're, we're traveling frequently throughout the solar system, perhaps preparing for missions to nearby star systems. I think all of this is possible within 50 years, and I think that will be very exciting to do that. Sustainable energy will happen no matter what. If there was no Tesla, Tesla never, never existed, it, it would have to happen out of necessity. It's tautological. If, if, you, until you, if you don't have sustainable energy, it means you have unsustainable energy. Eventually you'll run out, and the, the laws of economics will drive, drive civilization towards sustainable energy, inevitably. The, the fundamental value of a company like Tesla is the degree to which it, it accelerates the advent of sustainable energy uh, faster than it would otherwise occur. The thing I was saying, like if the, if the schedule's long, the design is wrong. We've overcomplicated the design many times, and, and I think we, we should have just gone with a, a simpler design, um, with the acid test being for this to fly. And if it's going to take a long time, don't do it. Do something else. Um, if you look at, say, Falcon 9, you know, it's got a, an aluminum lithium tank, but then the unpressurized structures are carbon fiber composite. I think we'll, we'll see autonomy and artificial intelligence advance tremendously. I think that's actually quite near term. My guess is in probably 10 years, it will be very unusual for cars to be built that are not fully autonomous. 10 years. And we want to use things like hydro, solar, wind, geothermal. Nuclear is also a good option in places like France, which don't, aren't subject to natural disasters. And, and we want to use energy sources that will be good for, for a billion years. There are two futures, and one future is we're out there among the stars, and the things we read about and see in science fiction movies, the good ones, are true. We have these starships, and we're, we're going to see what other planets are like. We're a multi-planet species, and the scope and scale of consciousness has expanded across many civilizations and many planets and many star systems. This is a great future. This is a wonderful thing to me. 
and that's what we should strive for. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more content. 